Hi, everybody. My name's Wendy, and I'm from New York. And I got started in mapping in 1992, helping people feel who were feeling overwhelmed by the environmental crisis, helping them connect with signs of progress towards sustainability right in New York City. Our project has now expanded to over 60 countries. It's locally led all over the world, and we're helping people map all kinds of resources to help community well-being as well as cr overcome crisis. Uh, today, over 500 green maps are made, each reflecting the character of their community. These are printed maps, I mean. Each one of them looks at natural, cultural, social justice, and green living sites. We share an iconography and tools with all kinds of people who are leading these efforts, whether it's an NGO like us, a not for uh, a community group, enter social enterprise, a, a city or a tourism board. Each has their own reasons for creating the map and their own process. So w they adapt the tools that we've created and that other map makers have made as well. And along the way, it builds leadership, collaboration, and community skills that are very useful for all kinds of initiatives in the community. And we also have found that not only are maps being made, but a wide range of efforts to bring people together, engage them locally, and help them become better stewards and workers for their community, um, whether it's a video or a tour or performance. We, in the last couple of years, we launched the Open Green Map. It's a social mapping platform that is now available online in beta mobile and as embedded maps. There's about 220 maps now on it and uh, 18,000 sites. We created it to radically reduce the local expense and uh, time needed to share important data about what was going on and at the same time to increase participation. Um, we made it so the content is shareable and we've now got about eight language interface on it. It uses Drupal, Google Map, our icons, and local knowledge. You can export your data as CSV or KML to use on other platforms, and there's all kinds of tools built in to make it easy for people to jump right in and work with lots of folks. There's 780 projects now using our tools, and they choose themselves which to use. The icons are the things that link us all, and we really feel that uh, having a universal, globally designed language has been really important to the movement. These are some of the icons that directly address crisis mapping, prevention, recovery, and to help people acclimatize to their new base of resource in their community. We'd love to talk to more of you about this iconography and figure out more ways we can use it. Here's some of the maps very quickly. Um, these are some of the youth maps made in my home community addressing toxics and environmental health and justice issues. The kids that, that kids got out there and did the work this created for them a long-term changed relationship with the place they call home. We don't only care about humans, we also look at um, the natural world that surrounds us and have people are helping one another address the crisis that's impacting all kinds of species, especially this is a few examples from Pacific Rim. We have all kinds of social crises in our communities. Um, Victoria, BC was the first green map projects that included the homeless community and the food gleaners to help look at issues that were really impacting all of the community, not just the folks that, that you see on this screen. Banda Acha was a place where green map makers from, it's actually the Jakarta team went and helped. 30, 23 com villages took part, and it was part of the planning effort, and um, 3,000 houses were built that really met what the people in the community wanted. It won the Dubai Prize. Now our Japan team is there actually in Banda Acha right now, starting to develop their disaster area guide to green map making with the help of people from as far away as uh, Berlin. We really want to see what we can do with our tools, with you, as well, we're involved in um, this effort. We think that we can create some really great tools that can be used by you to help people express what's going on and to help them plan for the future in a more engaged way. I encourage you to collect locally with uh, the Green Map Project Green Swiss here at greenmap.ch. Um, they'll be with me out in front um, afterwards at a poster session. By the way, our newest project addresses a new kind of way to address crisis with Occupy Philadelphia. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Victor Papanek Social Design Awards. That was that's what brought me here to Europe. Um, we just won one this week. So um, thank you to uh, 
their recognition. And I want to, um, again, invite you to please come and talk to me. I'm only here today. You can reach me anytime at greenmap.org. And get involved. Use, go to greenmap.org join if you want to use our tools in your community. Thank you.